Hi, I am Ismail Zayusov. Uh, I am a student and I would like to make an investment at bank. But I am dilemma to choose uh, the bank, whether CIMB Bank or Bank Islam. And I hope from this presentation can help me to choose the best bank for me to make an investment. Introduction of uh, CIMB Bank and Bank Islam Introduction of CIMB Bank CIMB Bank is one of the largest and most well-known bank in Malaysia. It is a subsidiary of CIMB Group Holdings Berhad, which is one of the largest financial service group in Southeast Asia. Uh, this bank uh, operates under the CIMB Group, uh, which is providing a, compre a comprehensive range of banking and financial product and service to its customer. Um, CIMB Bank offers a wide range of banking product and service uh, including saving account, current account, fixed deposit, loans, credit card, insurance and wealth management and service and uh, etc. Uh, throughout its uh, existence, MB Bank Malaysia has received uh, numerous award and uh, accolades for its performance um, like innovation and commitment to customer service. An introduction of Bank Islam is Bank Islam is the first Islamic bank in Malaysia and one of the leading Sharan compliant financial institutions in this country. It was established on July 1st, uh, 1983 with uh, the aim of providing Islamic banking and financial service in accordance with uh, Sharia principles. Uh, bank Islam played a crucial role in uh, laying the foundation for the growth and development of the Islamic banking and finance industry in this country. Uh, Bank Islam is uh, expand uh, its range of service and establish a substantial branch network across Malaysia. It diversified uh, its offering to include various Islamic financial products and service catering uh, to the diverse needs of its customer. And Bank Islam um, success and contributes have been a vital in promoting Islamic finance not only within Malaysia but also in the global financial landscape. Assalamualaikum, my name is Shahib Arizun. So this is for the financial analysis ratio for the company CIMB Bank and Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad. So uh, as we can see, this is the uh, data that uh, I found from the Yahoo Finance about the ratio analysis to compare the between of the Bank Islam and the and the CMB Bank. So with this data, we can <coughs> we can we can know which is the efficiency for efficiency and profit and profit profitability for the ratio. Why we look into the financial ratio for the CIMB Bank and Islamic Bank Berhad analysis. So first we look at the liquidity ratio. So first is the current ratio, that also known as the working capital ratio, measures a company short term liquidity by comparing its current asset to its current liabilities. Current asset are asset that are expected to be converted into cash or used up within a year. While current liabilities are obligations that are due within the same the same period from the diagram above. From the diagram above, we can see that the current ratio for CIMB Bank in 2020 is 1.18. Then in the following year, it increased to the 1.38, and in 2022, it increased by 1.44. So when we look at the graph above, it shows that. It shows a uh, good improvement for CMB Bank and shows a good improvement uh, in this ratio. Moreover, the Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad, can, we can see that the current ratio for the Bank Islam in 2020 is 1.39. Then in the then in the following following year, it increased to 1.44, and in 2020, it increased by 1.51. When we look at the graph above, it shows that a good improvement, improvement for the Bank Islam and shows a good significance increases in this ratio. So, for um, for both a company shown that the current ratio above 1, which that indicates that both companies have more current assets than current liabilities, which is generally considered healthy as it suggests the company can easily meet in short-term obligations. However, an excessively high current ratio might, might, might indicate that the company is not effi efficiency using <coughs> using its current asset to generate revenue. So next we go to the quick ratio. 
The quick ratio is known as the acid test ratio. It's most uh, it's more stringent measure of a company short term liquidity. It excludes inventory from the current asset because inventory may not always be easy convertible to cash in the short term. The quick ratio provides the insight into a company immediate ability to pay off its current liabilities without relying on the sale of inventory. So <coughs> from the table above, we can see that the quick ratio for the MB Bank in 2020 is 0.93 then in, in, the, in the following year it increased to 1.04 and in 2022 it increased by 1.71 <coughs> 1.71 when we look at the graph above it shows a, a good improvement for the MB Bank and shows a good improvement on in this ratio moreover for Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad we can see that the current ratio for Bank Islam in 2020 is 1.02 then in the following year it increased to 1.05 and in 2020, increased by 1.09. And then, <coughs> so, and the graph uh, both state that it shows a good significant values, significant high values for Bank Islam, and it shows good improvement in this ratio. So, both company has a uh, quick ratio above 1, that indicates the company has enough quick asset to cover its current liabilities, which is called, considered a good sign of short-term financial health. Generally, a high, higher quick ratio is better as it suggests stronger ability to make immediate financial obligations. So next is the leverage ratio. So the debt to asset ratio, also, also known as the total debt ratio, measures the propos propos proportion of a company total assets that are financed through debt. It shows the percentage of the company's asset that are funded by external creditors based on the data obtained. The, the, the debt to equity ratio for CMB Bank in 2020 is 0.649. In the following year, the, the ratio decreased to 0.536 and it continues to show a decrease in 2022, which is 0.476. This shows that CIMB Bank in 2020 has a higher debt to asset ratio, indicates that a larger proportion of the company's asset is financed through debt, which means that the company is more leveraged. Then in 2022, shown the significance downward ratio. On the other hand, suggests that the company really less more on equity financing. So besides that, for Bank Islam's, a show that the to equity ratio for Bank Islam in 2020 is 0.28. In the following year, this ratio has in increased to 0 0.29 and continues to decrease in 2022, which is 0 0.28. This is relatively low debt to equity ratio, which indicates the company using a relative, re re relatively small amount of debt to finance its scope operations. Furthermore, we look into the debt equity ratio. It knows as the uh, debt equity ratio compares a company total liabilities to its shareholders' equity. It provides insight into the balance between a company external funding and internal from shareholders. Based on the data for and graph obtained, the debt to asset ratio for CMB Bank is in 2020 is 0 0.62. In the following year, this ratio has decreased to 0 0.52 and continue to show a decrease in 2022, which is 0 0.46. This indicates a lower ratio that implies the company has a more conservative financing approach with a greater reliance on, on equity. Lastly, for Bank Islam, it should, it, <coughs> for Bank Islam, it showed that to equity ratio for Bank Islam in 2020 is 0.28. In the following year, this ratio has increased to 0.3. Then uh, in 23, uh, this indicates in 2022, it continues to show a decrease of 0.28. So in the <coughs> so this indicates an increased proportion of debt the company capital structure relative to equity. So we go to the next is profitability ratio. So we took, uh, we look at the, the net profit ma uh, margin ratio measures the pro profit profitability of a company's co cooperation by showing the percentage of profit earned from each dollar of revenue. It indicates how effectively, effectively activities based on the data the company CIMB Bank has shown the significant increase in their net profit margin. The CIMB Bank has low net profit margin in year 2020 only 7.23%. 7 
This is because of the pandemic COVID-19 that happened in Malaysia and the effect the, of the moratorium that government announced in that year. By in 2021, the ratio has shown an aggressive increase in their net profit margin as much as 23.63%. And, and it continued in 2022 to 27.47%. This shows that net profit margin ratio indicates that the company SMB is more efficient at controlling its cost and generating profit from its sale. It shows that a larger proportion of each dollar of revenue is translating into profit. Besides that, for Bank Islam, the net profit margin ratio in 2020 is 28.24%. It shows that the Bank Islam is more efficient at controlling its cost and generating profit from its sales in the pandemic COVID-19. But the Net profit margin has shown decrease in 2021 to 25.80% and it continued decrease in 2022 with 22.61%. It is critical for the bank Islam in terms of the revenue that is has shown decrease in their profit. It might be the company have may, may higher expenses expenses relative to its revenue, which could impact the ease of real, overall profitability. So next is Return on asset. So, return on asset, known as a return on total asset, measures a company ability to generate profit from its total asset base. It indicates how efficiently a company is using its asset to generate earnings. So, uh, so return on asset for CMB in 2020 shows that the company ROE is 20.2.03%. It because during the pandemic COVID-19, the community need to use their money for their needs. It because the pandemic has affected the economy in Malaysia with the most people suffer to find money to pay their needs. Then in 2021, the CIMB <coughs> return on asset has increased to 7.02% and it continued increase in 2022 with 8.44%. It shows that CIMB return on asset indicates that the company is generating more profit from it its asset which reflect good asset utilization and effective management it means the company generally a higher return for its investor on the asset it owns besides that for bank islam it shown a decrease in the graph in 2020 the the roa for bank islam is 7.44 percent and decrease in 2021 with 6.90%. Then in 2022, it continued to decrease with 5.78%. It happened might be because of the competitor has offered the lower interest rate loan than Bank Islam. The decreasing indicate that the company has the company has, is not effectively utilizing its asset to generate profit. It might require a further investigation into its operation and financial performance. So for the next is for the market ratio. So price to earning ratio is a valuation metric commonly used by, by investor to an anal analyst to assess the relative attractiveness of a company's stock. It compares the current market price of a company's stock is earning per, per share EPS and provide insight into how much investor are willing to pay for each dollar of, of earnings. Based on the price to earning ratio for the Bank in year 2020 is 10.59. Then in 2021, the ratio is increased to 11.25, then, then it decreased back to the 10.59%. The <coughs> price earning ratio is show a, lo a, low, a low price earning ratio, suggests that the stock is trading at a relatively lower price compared to its earnings. This could indicate that the market has relatively lower expectation for the company's growth prospect or that the stock might be undervalued. Presenting a potential buying opportunity besides, <coughs> besides that for Bank Islam, the PE ratio in 2020 is 14.07 and it increased to 16.7 and <coughs> it continue to increase to 24.27 it shows a high price earning ratio that indicates the investor are willing to pay a premium for the company's stock compared to its current earnings. It may suggest that the market has high expectation for the company's future growth and profitability. It's important to consider the to consider the price earning ratio in the context of the company's industry, its growth potential and its earning outlook. Comparing the, the price earning ratio with the competitors or the broader market can help assess the whether the stock trading is a premium or a discount.
efficiency ratio. The efficiency ratio is a measure used to assess a bank's operational efficiency by comparing its expenses to its revenue. It is calculated by dividing the bank's expenses by its revenue. A lower efficiency ratio indicates better efficiency, uh, as it may, uh, as it means that uh, the bank is spending less to generate revenue. For 2020 years. Uh, so, I'm a bank total expenses ratio 128%, while bank Islam total expenses ratio is 125%. For 2021, so I'm a bank total expense ratio 138%, while uh, bank Islam total expenses ratio is 123%. And for year 2020-22, so, I mean, bank total expenses is 148%, while uh, bank Islam total expenses ratio is 122%. Uh, as we know, lower efficiency ratio is generally considered more favorable as it indicates that uh, the bank is using its resource efficiently to generate revenue and keep expenses in check. Uh, therefore, a bank Islam appear to have a better efficiency ratio compared to uh, CIM bank during the given period. Selepas 14 tahun di pasaran, akaun pelaburan inovatif berasaskan konsep modal rabah Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad BIMB Al-Awfar berjaya merekodkan saiz dana berjumlah lebih RM5 bilion menerusi lebih 1 juta akaun. Ketua Pegawai Perniagaan Arun Cik Kumpulannya Mizan Mas Ram berkata, dana Al-Awfar dilabur dalam portfolio pembiayaan perumahan dan aset tetap sedia ada bagi memastikan pelaburan kukuh dapat dicapai. A third group of 2,959 customers has filed a class action suit against the CIMB Bank for negligence over a duplicate credit error that left their accounts frozen and in debt. They claim the bank's action in freezing their accounts and later debiting sums owed without their consent is illegal. In the latest suit filed at the Kuala Lumpur High Court on April 7th, the 2,959 customers are asking for the sums taken away from their accounts to be returned as they were debited illegally. They claim they had contacted the bank sometime in mid-2020 over the duplicitous amounts and were told that they were valid. They also sought a declaration that the bank breached its fiduciary duties by not ensuring the credited sums were in order. The bank, they said, had also breached their contract by failing to provide sufficient notice before debiting the duplicitous sum from their accounts. They sought general, exemplary and aggravated damages with a 5% interest per year from the date the suit was filed and costs. According to a court filing by Tetuan Isa Aziz Ibrahim, the 2,959 customers have more than 3,000 accounts with the bank. In an immediate response to the suit, CIMB Bank said that since this was the subject of legal proceedings, it would strongly defend its position and leave the outcome to the due process of the court. Next, I will explain about the power of controversial or latest development. In terms of issue involving CIMB Bank, according to the news from several articles, which is a uh, reference, the critical issue of uh, Genting Hong Kong has become a hard issue in Malaysia where it involves CIMB Bank. In a statement issue, the bank and several other banks have joined together to provide an unsecured loan amounting to 2.51 million ringgit or $600 to a Genting Hong Kong a company based company before the company went bankrupt due to being unable to operate for two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The unsecured loans have caused difficulty for banks to obtain a certain amount of assets from the company to cover losses. However, the Minister of International Trade and Industry, Datuk Seri Muhammad Azmin Ali, said the critical issue of Hong Kong's uh, uh, LTD bankruptcy has no impact on liquidity and growth national economy. According to the reports, even though the winding 
up of Genting Hong Kong's company did not have a significant impact on the bank. However, the performance and image of CIMB Bank as one of the biggest bank or company in Malaysia has declined and most people have started to change direction to banks that are more secure and clean uh, or clearer than uh, clear from illegal sources of dividend, namely like Islamic banking. That is the latest development of Bank Islam. The latest development of Bank Islam Malaysia, uh, Sandy Amber Hat or BIMB, the bank has introduced a new kill switch feature. Now customers can protect their fund themselves from online fraud and temporarily deactivate access to some Bank Islam internet banking services. The new security element also immediately blocks all outgoing transactions from the customer's Bank Islam debit i-card, according to a statement. The latest feature introduced has been able to attract the attention of customers to continue using the bank services. Thus, on March 8, 2023, in a statement that Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad announced the implementation of a moratorium of up to six months for customer of housing, personal and vehicle financing facilities affected by the flood disaster. However, the application for post postponement of a monthly installment payment for up to six months is subject to the term and condition set. Bank Islam in a term today informed that the moratorium facilities is also provided to customer uh, of micro, small and medium enterprise or PMKS as a continuation of the Priyatin Banji program to help affected financing customers. In addition, Bank Islam will not charge any charges for the replacement of credit I and debit I card and checkbooks that are damaged or lost due to the disaster. The bank announced the Disaster Relief Facility or DRF for the micro, small and medium enterprise industry specifically for affected business I financing customers. Next is vertical analysis part. This is the balance sheet statement of CIMB Bank Berhad from 2020 to 2022. As we, uh, as we can see the highlight here, uh, the total liability net minority interest in 2020, the percentage is 90.51%, uh, while in the 2021, the percentage has been decreased to 90.33% uh, and it's increased to 90.43% in 2000, 2022. Next is the total equity gross minority interest. In 2022, sorry, in 2020, the percentage is 9.5% nine percent and it's increased to nine point six seven percent in 2021 and it decreased to nine point five seven percent in 2022 meanwhile the total debt is six point one nine percent in 2022 it's decreased to five point one eight percent in 2021 and it decreased again to 4.55% uh, in 2022. Next is balance sheet of Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad from 2020 to 2022. So the total liability net minority one, the percentage in 2020 is 91.58%. Uh, and as you can see, it decreased to 92.02% uh, in 2021 and it's increased in 2022 
which is 92.44%. Second is total, uh, total equity gross minority interest and the percentage in 2020 is 8 8.42% and it's, de uh, it's decreased to 7.98% and in 2022 it uh, decreased to 7.56 percent and as you can see here the total debt is uh, 2.75 uh, percent in 2020 and it's increased to 2.92 percent in 2021 and it's decreased uh, to 2.83% in 2022. Okay, next, I'm going to uh, explain about horizontal analysis for Bank Islam and CIMB Bank. Okay, horizontal analysis basically also known as trend analysis, which is a final analysis method used to evaluate the performance of a company or organization over a certain period by comparing financial data from the consecutive years. Okay, so as we can see here, this is income statements for CIMB Bank for three years, which is from 2020, 2021, and 2022. Uh, so for overall, for the value change 2020 to 2021 for total revenue is about 1,065,055 and the percentage change is about 10%. Meanwhile, for the value change 2021 to 2020, 22 is uh, 1,625,913 and the percentage change is about 9% and so on. Meanwhile, for income statement uh, by Islam, we, for the total revenue change uh, from 2020 to 2021 is about 70018. The percentage change is 3.5%. For the value change 2021 to 2022 is uh, 104161 and the percentage change is uh, 5%. And this is the comparison between uh, the total revenue for Bank Islam and CIMB Bank. Uh, we can see here the uh, percentage change for two uh, for 2020 to 2021 and for the change for 2021 to 2022. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Zahida Izati Binti Ramli and now I will present a comparative SWOT analysis between two prominent players in the banking industry which is uh, Bank Islam and CIMB Bank. Okay, um, today goal is to go into the specific of each bank's strategic position and also to find out uh, which one is worth to invest by assessing their internal capabilities and external possibilities. We can acquire significant insights into what sets this bank apart and how they are positioned to handle the ever-changing financial landscape by uh, investigating their unique feature problem and possible growth possibility. Okay, now look at the table above that I already categorized it uh, with aspect and factors. For this SWOT analysis, I also give a point to each uh, factors from 1 to 5 scale, which is from uh, 2 weak until 2 strong. So, um, we're going to discuss about the first aspect, which is strength. For this aspect, I already found three factors according to the research that I already gained. Okay, um, for the first factor is strong Islamic banking product. For this factor, I gave it a uh, Bank Islam 5 mark, which meanwhile CIMB Bank is 4. Is it because uh, both banks have a strong focus on Islamic banking, offering Sharia compliant financial product and service which is uh, give them a competitive edge in, in, in the Islamic uh, finance market. Okay, next point is strong reputation. For Bank Islam, uh, they get 5 mark. Meanwhile, for CIMB Bank is 3. 
Okay, uh, the reason why uh, Bank Islam uh, get five mark is because uh, Bank Islam has built a strong reputation as a trusted and reliable Islamic bank, known for adhering to Islamic principles and ethical standards in its operation. Uh, their reputation can attract a loyal customer base, especially among those who prefer Islamic financial services. Meanwhile, for any bank, they have uh, several issues before that that uh, make their reputation damage as a uh, general so they just only got three points for strong reputation and the last one is strong customer base both got four points is because uh, both banks have a significant customer base okay for the weakness aspect for limited geographic presence Bank Islam has a relatively smaller geographic presence compared to CMB Bank, which might uh, restrict its market reach and growth opportunities. For the limited product diversification, Bank Islam product offering may be more focused on semi banking, while CMB Bank offers a more diverse range of financial products, which make uh, CMB Bank more uh, stand out. Okay, and the relatively small asset base, uh, Bank Islam asset base is smaller than CME Bank, which might impact its capacity for large-scale operations and, invest and investment. Okay, next, uh, for the third aspect, which is opportunities. For their first factor, uh, growing Islamic finance market, both banks have the opportunity to capitalize on the increased demand for Islamic financial products especially in market with a strong preference for Sharia compliance services. The second point is uh, increased demand for Sharia compliant product. Uh, both banks can tap into the growing demand for Islamic financial product from customers seeking Sharia compliant uh, banking solutions. And the third one is uh, expand into market. Both banks have the potential to expand their operations into new markets to reach a broader customer base and diversify their revenue streams. Okay, and the last aspect, uh, which is trade. For the first factor is intense competition in the banking industry. Both banks uh, face competition from other financial institutions, which may put pressure on the market share and pricing strategies. And the second one, low interest rate environment. The prevailing low interest rate environment can impact uh, both banks for their net interest income and profit. And the last one is economic uncertainties. Economic uncertainties such as changes in GDP growth and market volatility can affect both of them uh, for their financial performance and credit risk exposure. Okay, for the reasons uh, why we choose Bank Islam for investment is because they have a specialization in Islamic banking. Bank Islam has established itself as a leading Islamic bank, catering to customers seeking Sharia compliant financial product and service. With that strong focus on Islamic banking principle, Bank Islam can tap into a niche market with a growing demand for Sharia compliant offerings. Okay, and the second reason is a uh, growth potential in the Islamic finance market. As the global Islamic finance market continues to expand, but Islam is well positioned to capitalize on this growth. The increased demand uh, for a Sharia compliant product presents opportunities for the bank to attract a larger customer base and expand it to all the market share. And for the third reason is a uh, reputation and trust. Bank Islam has built a strong reputation as a re reliable and trusted Islamic bank, adhering to the Islamic principle for all its financial activities. Uh, the trust that they earn from the customer can lead to increased customer loyalty and also uh, customer retention. And the fourth one is social responsibility and ethical focus. Bank Islam's commitment to social responsibility align with the ethical considerations of many investors. For those who prioritize um, investing in company with strong ethical standards, Bank Islam uh, 
may be an appealing, uh, appealing choice, which is the main choice for them. Fifth point, uh, which is digital innovation and convenience. Bank Islam has invest in digital in innovations, make uh, banking more accessible and convenient for its customer. They also have their own uh, application so that the customer can easily uh, do the transactions online. Oh, the sixth point is potential for growth in untapped markets. Bank Islam may have opportunities to expand its uh, geographic presence into untapped markets. And for the conclusion, now I know that which uh, bank I choose uh, to make the investment. Um, I think I, I will choose uh, Bank Islam to make an investment because Bank Islam is more better than CIMB Bank to for me an investment. It is because uh, the first one is Bank Islam uh, specialized in Islamic banking, ethical image, uh, diverse product and product range, and strong customer base. Uh, this point may um, it a uh, complying uh, choice for those seeking a uh, sharia and compliant financial solution aligned with uh, Islamic principle, and based on uh, based on the financial. Uh, analysis ratio which is presented by the the presenter uh, bank islam is more better than cimb bank so that uh, why it, it give me more um more confident to choose as bank islam to make an investment that's all from us thank you